Welcome to the Basilica National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception for our 2020 Lenten Reflection Series, brought to you from Our Lady of Saluva Chapel here in the Great Upper Church. Who doesn't want the moment to end when we realize that we are experiencing something that is absolutely beyond our wildest imagining? A moment so wonderful that we can't believe it is really happening and that it is happening to us. The one thing we do know for sure is that we do not want it to end. The eventful happening recounted in today's gospel, the transfiguration of Jesus, was one of those moments experienced by the three chosen apostles, Peter, James, and John, whom Jesus led up a high mountain by themselves to behold the glory of God's only beloved Son. The gospel of the second Sunday of Lent always recounts what St. Thomas Aquinas describes as the greatest miracle, the transfiguration of the Lord on Mount Tabor. Jesus fittingly manifested his glory to his apostles and for us today to reveal the truth that faithfully following him, especially throughout life's suffering and pain, will lead to the reward of such selfless sacrifice, the ultimate goal of every disciple's journey of faith, eternal union with God, a relationship which begins here and now. The vision of Jesus transfigured in glory before the eyes of the, these apostles invites all of us to open ourselves to the power of the spirit of the risen Christ, allowing God to transform our lives during and beyond the Lenten season. In turn, God calls each of us to be conduits of his grace in our daily living, transforming the lives of all those we encounter, especially the poor, the sick and suffering, the lonely and neglected, those marginalized by society's selfishness. By our const constantly choosing Christ, he becomes more manifest in us, in you and in me, Conformed to the image of God's Son, we are given life through the Spirit, which empowers us to commit ourselves to the service of the gospel, sharing the glory of God with all those we meet. By partaking in Jesus' paschal mystery, by our walking with Christ to Calvary, by our bearing our crosses, by our dying to selfishness, you and I open ourselves to the transforming power that is God's love. We rise to the glory of new life in and with Christ. This glory is available. It is for you and for me if we take Jesus' hand if we follow him down the mountain and do the ongoing work of his love, living the good news of his abiding presence by serving all who have allowed fear to make them unaware or forgetful of God's merciful love for us. Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. My brothers and sisters, we must allow Jesus to touch our hearts and take us by the hand, assuring us not to fear. 
He will lead us down the mountain to walk with us always through the darkest moments of our lives into that light that is his love. A love that will last without end for all time. Thank you.